Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I will be reviewing the sponge ball dropper from Hansen Chen Productions. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it and share it if you want to share it, tell people about it and very importantly, go and check out onlinemagic.co at my membership site. Been going for 10 years, live sessions every week, most weeks, not last week because I had a show and, uh, and special guests regularly and over 800 tutorials on there. We upload the live sessions every week so you get at least three or four hours of fresh content every week, at least every month. I meant to say, yeah. Okay, so this is the second in the Black Holder series from Ochi Studios. I think that's the pronunciation. Oh, I want to get my pronunciation is right. Ochi Studios. And what these are, these, if you haven't seen the, the review of the first one, I reviewed the Jumbo Coin Dropper, are answers to a problem for me, a genuine one. So much magic comes out and it says, we're gonna, we're gonna solve this problem for you. And you know, not really a problem there anyway. And this one I think is especially uh, useful to me. So the first one, Jumbo Coin Dropper, you put it on your belt, you press a button and it releases a Jumbo Coin into your hand. And for years I've been doing this in a belt loop and that's okay, not a belt loop, sort of tucked into my belt. And that's fine, but sometimes it would come out and sometimes it was a bit sort of, it moved a lot and th th there seemed to be a lack of control. I will still do that, don't get me wrong, but it, it was a lot neater. But this is even better, I think, for me, because I'm a big fan of SpongeBob magic. I, I think it gets a hard time for being naff and cheesy, but you cannot deny the effect it has and the versatility of what you can do with these things with the different, um, I was gonna say final loads, but finales, let's say which I won't go into in detail here. Now, of course, they don't suit every situation because of the colour. Some people think they're not classy, but I just think wherever I do them, I just the response is amazing. But some of the routines are quite difficult. So the problem you can have is that you have to go into your pockets quite a lot to do them. So some of these moves into the pockets are justified, but sometimes when you're trying to reach in your pocket, grab, pocket to grab something quickly, like a final load, like almost like a cups and balls final load, it can kind of get caught up. The other thing is that the sponge balls can sort of gather bits of dust uh, and horrible stuff from your pocket. So when you show them the final bit, it, it can look a bit grubby, can be a bit awkward, and they can take up a lot of pocket space. Now, if you're a worker, you're gonna know what I mean. You have sponge balls in one pocket, you're not really gonna be able to put anything else in there if you're gonna use them and have to dip it in out quite quickly. And that's fine and we can do it, but sometimes I've wanted to use that for that and then get a further load and that's been very difficult so I've had to incorporate another pocket. And they're real world problems that I've had. I'm not making this up, again, no affiliation. So this comes out and this is a very cool looking thing and it's a cool working thing because it works really, really well. I was really surprised when I got it out and started playing with it, I thought, how's that gonna work? And as you've seen by the start of this video, it does very well briefly and I'm, I'm i'm okay to show this they show it on all the trailers so there's no exposure here so i'm just going to pick up the obviously the the red little red balls are everywhere so if you're doing your you want to finish uh your sponge ball routine by the spectator opening their hands and the balls flying out of their hands which is such a lovely finale i'm only going to put four in here you can put like 15 to 20 even more of these super soft uh mini sponge balls in here but what it does is it's spring loaded, it's got a couple of springs on, really, really strong, and fires that into your hand. From your, it goes into your belt here, and it, and it sits there on your body, okay? The good thing is it kind of twists either way, left-handed, right-handed, you can have the button, there's the little button, and you press it in and you hear it, it clicks in, oops, clicks in, and it's like a boom, it's like a little spring loaded thing. So, you can use this for, it holds, I think, about five, I might get this wrong, I've got it written down, but 15 or 20 of those, then there's the one inch ones, you can put about 15 or 10 to 15, maybe even more of those, depending on whether you've got super soft. Um, you can, obviously, your one, one and a half inch, you can put five or six, your two inch, three inch, all that, your jumbo, um, you can have like a four inch ball, which I think is a really nice production, actually, because it kind of grows, so this will sort of, you fold it into there, 
press it, it kind of releases it slowly into your hand. You'll hear that kind of snap. That doesn't tend to happen once you've got everything loaded in there. That's just because there were not many in there. Problem with obviously the small mini sponge balls is that they go everywhere. So for some situations, it's just, you can't do that every table. So you're gonna lose them. Everybody's gonna kind of be looking for them or you can just do five or six, which is quite nice. But the big one's really nice because it just, it kind of, you open your hand and it just sort of grows or, or they open their hand. And it's a really nice one. Obviously you can do your ding dong as well. I'm not gonna go into that, but that is in the download. And it is very funny to see him <laughs> quite seriously uh, telling you how to do that, how that goes in there and it goes in there perfectly. I'm not gonna dwell on all that. <laughs> just getting so sound like a carry on film. Um, the rabbits, now I've got to, uh, oh, I'll go over here, hang on. So I love the sponge rabbits. So again, great for kids, but I'm going to say it's great for adults too. In certain situations, it's a very cute thing. There's a big rabbit load. You can get the other Goshman, the Daryl rabbits, which are different. But again, that goes in there. And as a final load, it kind of fires that into, it's great. Just fires it into your hand and it means you can show your hands empty beforehand or you can put loads of little rabbits in there. You get the idea. They have a video that shows you how to load each and every one of those things and all the weird things like you can get a sponge that says wow and but whatever whatever you've got it's going to work. They go into loads of detail of how to load everything to make sure it's not they're not going to fly everywhere and when they go into your hands you do have this nice little package which again is so important if you've got 20 small mini goshman sponge balls in your pocket it's quite hard to gather them all up quickly put them in the spectator's hand but they're already in that in that sort of little package it goes in your hand boom they're in there and it's just it just works so well it's strong it's not going to fall apart i'm a massive fan of this stuff and you know i do a miser's dream routine where i've got you know, 30 coins loaded, and it it's, oh, always feels a bit weird on stage that they're gonna sort of fall out. I'm kind of creeping around the stage until I do the routine. They've got a coin dropper coming out soon, apparently, which I think is, again, gonna be great for those of us that use them. And, you know, to have something that drops an object in your hand, it feels weird and it feels exposed and it feels like it's gonna be seen, but when you get used to how magical that can be, showing your hands empty, leaning forward, boom, there's something there without going into your pockets. It's a great thing. I think this is a really high quality product. It does have a price tag, of, of course, so it is gonna be for those of you that are working, you are gonna need a jacket because it is hanging on the belt loop and people are gonna see it, but most of us will do that when we're working. Uh, and I think it's great. It's not perfect, of course. The There is a bit of noise to it, which again is fine. It's not that loud when it's loaded, but if you're only loading a couple of things into it, it is you are gonna have to cover that or not if you're in 98% of situations, of course, where there is ambient noise. As many of you will know, when we get some tricks, we you know people are all over the forum saying, oh, it's a bit noisy, nobody, here's most things in a normal situation unless you're working in silence like you're doing a really quietly focused show and then you might have to think about it but i think even there with maybe a tiny bit of background music you're covered so that's the um the sponge ball dropper any questions at all i will have lo um, forgot things but if you look on the page the link will be below from hansen chen you will see loads of detail, they go into everything. It's all there for you before you buy it. So you can see, they'll show you how it works. There's a little behind the scenes video, which is quite funny and cool. And uh, you'll get way more information there. So that's the Sponge Wall Dropper, Hanson Chen Productions, uh, Red Sai designed. And thank you very much for sending it to me. Do like and subscribe. And now off you go and have a look at onlinemagic.co if you support me by joining up to that not just to support me that's not why it exists that came before this but uh but you'll see it's a it's a bargain have a look at the trust pilot reviews take care see you later have a great one